Uh, on my service on uh, this committee and on the uh, Committee on Government Oversight and Reform, I am dedicated to eliminating waste, fraud and abuse in our government. And to that end, I have introduced H.R. 982, uh, the Furthering Asbestos Claims Transparency Act of 2013. The victims of asbestos-related diseases deserve full compensation for their injuries, and I am extremely sympathetic to these claims. However, the trusts set up to provide uh, justice are shrouded in secrecy and are frequently abused by claimants and, more accurately, their lawyers, wasting money attended for methothelioma and other asbestos-related injury sufferers. Unfortunately, these trusts are not limitless, bottomless pits of money. The problem of fraud in the asbestos compensation system has been well documented over the past several de decades. Often fraud is committed when plaintiffs and their attorneys rely on one set of facts uh, in state court and another set of facts in the bankruptcy court. This type of abuse can take place when their system provides no transparency with play, uh, payouts. Therefore, this uh, legislation would amend Section 524G of the Banks of Bankruptcy Code uh, to require asbestos trust to file quarterly reports with the bankruptcy court detailing claimant's name and the amount paid to each claimant, the basis for each payment. We have specifically narrowed this bill to protect the privacy of plaintiffs uh, to the greatest extent possible. This legislation is fair to all parties and has bipartisan uh, support, as I co-introduced it with uh, Mr. Matheson uh, of Utah. It is absolutely imperative that we make sure that those who truly have claims are taken care of, but we have also got to make sure that we stop the waste, fraud and abuse and make sure that there is money there to pay all the claims. Congress must act to cut back abuse of the systems. Thank you very much. And I'll yield back. 